I didn't even hit the guy? Okay, I, get, I think I hit him with something, but not sure with what exactly. Hello everyone, my name is Dromat and today we're going to do a Talia jungle gameplay guide in Flex around at around Platinum Elo, I don't know exactly, but we're doing that on Talia strictly because today we want to do a guide in which if we die we want to end the video right there and I want to challenge myself to play safer by doing so and if you want to do this kind of challenge I recommend you to but don't do it in solo queue because that would be troll, don't do it here either but I guess I being safe I guess it's a good thing so you could do it probably in flex but on solo queue it might make you think at some stupid escapes or stupid things so we're gonna focus on surviving if we die boom the video goes away I'm playing Talia jungle with face rush nimbus cloak transcendence water walking presence of mind cup the grace in these rune stats and I'm going for uh, sork shoes lion Dree, red trinket vision words and then cosmic drive most likely or Zonia. I don't think I need do I need Zonia against this. I mean if they jump on me I'm dead anyway, so I guess it's going to be Cosmic Drive to have the insane movement speed that that item offers. And I'm playing with Phase Rush because I really want to escape the Hecarim. But I think Dark Harvest is much more useful for lower elos and even for higher elos when you need damage. But I guess we have a lot of damage on this comp. So yeah, I'm starting blue. I'm going here, uh, whenever you're doing these camps, try to not break your uh, circle, so to say, your work ground. Because if you cast your small Q by accident, like from a work ground, instead of a full Q, you're going to lose a lot of time. And that costs. Okay, so here we put the E down, we auto-attack the small wolf, move to the other wolf, Q, and get rid of it so they deal less damage to us. Move here at this outside range of the circle auto attack auto attack uh, i won't cast the because uh i want to have it ready for the next uh, for the rights you could have also wear this i'm playing with red smite so we survive the extra in damage but the blue one steals movement speed it's also good so it's up to you to decide really uh, i don't have smite i already tried to press it twice for some reason onto this i don't know why and I'm gonna move here, I'm gonna do a Q, which is a bad idea really, because now I don't have it. And I should have cast W onto that. But like I was level 2, okay. This one you can practically kite it a bit, but not really that much because you don't want to reset it. I don't bother much because I'm gonna smite it anyway. So now we can like kite it like this, you can move away. I would do it Q from here, E from here, full combo, move the big one away. And then I cannot help you, Mr. Viego. I really cannot. You're so far away. And he's fine. He's fine. So I'm gonna do a full combo here. My clear speed is pretty good. I have already. What is that guy doing? What? <laughs> well, that's nice. I can then go to Scuttle, which is right here. Full combo. There is a bull. I think the blue is up. Okay, going for mid. Vane should know I'm here, really. Okay, I did not understand. If that flash was more likely to bait, then. Okay, I've heard the vision word. Uh, let's tilt the guy. Don't cast the W yet. I mean, you could have got the Gragas there. Okay, that's a flash. Oh! <laughs> Back off because Vayne is coming. So we're trying to get this from the Gragas. And yeah, we're. Man, we abused that Hecarim so hard this game. We can go for the other Scuttle now. And we can also move towards mid. And towards the full queue here. I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go towards my jungle. Actually, I can go here, but I have to throw a queue. Just for good measure to check. And 
another queue here. Okay, I see the vein on mid, so we're fine. But I got so much advantage from that vehicle play, man. I'm so hit. And now we expect Hecarim to be here on bot. So we are around at this zone. We can't really go bot. We don't have a reason to. And we can move mid. We can try here, not the gank. It's uh, most certain that Vayne has a word, okay, or not. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, full clear it is, and then we move towards other stuff. So, uh, we're gonna do all camps. I could have recalled as well, but I still have the blue buff, which means I can abuse it. And there is another blue buff, which comes in 50 seconds. So, full clear, recall, and it's fine. We're clearing very fast anyway, so I don't think there is a chance for the Hecarim to actually keep up with us. Because once you level up a bit, Lia's clear speeds are brutal, man. Oh, and Diego should be fine. And having Dark Harvest in a game like this is, for example, much better than uh, having Phase Rush. Because uh, uh, you stuck it three times already, man. It's so strong if you could have. So I'm gonna do. Full Q here, move away, full Q again, auto attacks in between, if you forget auto attacks that's bad, do not ever forget auto attacks, and as you can see my mana ended right when it was needed, because I had time to clear this up, and on mid now, he's doing great, he still didn't use flash, he's having ignite, full Q, 1 E, so that we can clear the little ones, Actually, yeah, it's fine. And after I get this, I'm going for blue, I'm buying items, I get boots. Me and Viego and Victor are extremely far ahead, so only bot in really uh, a bit, which is not that much of a problem. So we can go for a ring here, we can go for... Uh, where is it? Oh my god. It takes me years to find it. So we can go for... The red trinket, as we said, vision word, refillable, and sork shoes, and the dark seal, everything that you need. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute the chat because I don't wanna say that. And yeah, we have an ult from Xerath. We could go both there, most likely. But I cannot really do anything here. Okay, let's uh, let's force a flash. That's fine, we forced that flash, that's what we needed, that's what we wanted, probably Hecarim is on the top side, we don't care, we are actually pretty damn good here, clear this, move away, get it done, and probably move towards mid as well, because uh, there is going to be a Hecarim gank either there or top, I don't, I don't think he will gank bot early on at least, because their bot says perma push, so right, that's right, their bot will perma push, so I guess Hecarim is right there, onto the top side, very close to the Viego, I would guess, if he didn't went AFK, also a possibility, okay, okay, and Vayne did that engage, it's 100% dead, or should be, Okay, cast an E, push it in. I'm two levels ahead. And whenever you kill someone, you could try to push it with your mid laner. Or if whenever your mid laner dies, you should actually go and take that CS. And probably Hecarim is at Drake, which... Uh, or mid. Yeah, he's on mid. That's also fine. He's level 6, so you should be careful. I guess he ulted, but he inted again. So... This opens up, I would go for golems, but this opens up for a uh, drake, for a uh, herald, sorry. Uh, not really because there is this, but what it opens up for... Well, we just tint it. It opens up for this drake, for this uh, buff, sorry. I cannot go there, you just tint it. I can, do st I can steal this though. Okay, now I can go. Because I could perhaps get away with a full combo onto the Gragas. No, I don't think so. 
staying here because I'm thinking that Hecarim will follow. I give him five seconds to come. If not, I will just do this. Yeah, I will do this. Okay, I see him on top. I got this. Ah, uh, I inted. I inted there. I inted there. I inted with that. Oh my god, I'm dying as well. Oh, we got the Galio. Got the Galio saving us. What a, what a beast of a Galio. What a god. He just single-handedly saved my challenge. What a beast. <laughs> I would have died there. And also there is a scuffle. Man, I love this guy. He's just single-handedly won the challenge. I don't even duo with him or anything. Also, three levels ahead. I'm gonna do this. And I'm going to talk to uh, solve the problem for Viego. Because I see he lost that fight. So if I just go there and he kills Kragas, it's game over. Also, yeah, I should have lost that. But thanks to the, thanks to the guy, we're just fine now. So we're staying comfortably here. I would have appreciated if you stunned him first. But we could uh, we could just dive him. You have to go away. Because you cannot kill us with whatever damage you have. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! I'm away! I, I'm, I'm alive! I'm, <laughs> I'm alive! Oh my god! I'm away! I'm going away! I'm running away! Please no Hecarim! Please no Hecarim! I think the Hecarim will be bought. Woo! I'm still alive! Challenge still going. Alright, so we could go here for Magi's. We could go for this. Yeah, I'm going for both the Magi's and the chapter now we're freaking far ahead but going bot against an old misfortune a fed misfortune fed zerat might do more harm than good especially since we have hyper carries on mid and top and the fed victor and a fed viego will always be more useful than a fed gin basically the sum of it so yeah you can think like that you should focus on the lanes that are already winning if you have two lanes that are winning basically the game will win for itself because you don't have to go bot, if, even if they have, unless their ADC is some kind of smurfer, winning two lanes will always, always triumph, and even on top, if, even if he dies, this doesn't matter now, doesn't matter at all, because they're still far behind, and they cannot really keep up, and I could probably uh, do this scuttle, and then steal one more blue from the Hecarim, the Hecarim is, I think, so tilted, man. Have vision here. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm staying around mid because I want to help them. Okay, I see. I see Victor going bot. I follow. It's that simple. I'm here too. I'm here too. And they also don't have any words. Yeah, we cannot really deal with that you should go mid man I'll take care of it okay we could go a bit deeper okay never mind vision word here we could we could go both now Okay. It really didn't amount to much. Oh boy. Well, I'll just push it for you. Nice. And we go away. I have 125 CS, man. It's so broken. And I'll do a full clear now. I haven't even done my actual... Uh, 
actual golems in a while. So we just stay here, do this camp, do that camp, move, move next, move next, move next camp. If I don't die, it will be actually quite interesting because I didn't expect to live. I mean, you've seen it, I shouldn't have lived at certain points. And it's beautiful how they spawn one by one. And I have to go. Okay, and there is a Hecarim that might ult. So you have to be highly aware of that. Whoop. I broke the wave and I'm also going I'm trying to get 10 CS per minute in jungle I really do because this is doable and I want to maintain it for the rest of the game so let's go for the 10 CS per minute jungle experience there is a scuttle I want a scuttle because if I go for the scuttle I don't lose into time into clearing times so scuttle and then as you can see, Hecarim can never actually keep up with me. So, so 10 CS per minute and no deaths, that's the challenge for today. Okay, so we move for that, go for red, and then go for back to blue, uh, golems back to blue, maybe get some lane CS. And doing this until the mid game, then you have a fight where you are very far ahead, will just win you games. If you are ahead in CS by 2-3 levels in teamfights, you're going to be a beast. And that's fairly important to know. It's not something... AFK farming is bad, but if you are doing properly, like, rotations and all, it's not that much of a bad thing, really. And especially on top of our farming jungler. If you're Odir, you're supposed to do that. If you're Jarvan, not really. But it's good to have this 3-level advantage at times. To maybe go for 10 CS per minute in the jungle. Which in the past, I don't think it was ever possible, really. And I'm going for Ludens for the insane movement speed. I want the insane movement speed combo from the Cosmic Drive. So there is Drake up, so I'm going here. I could ult to get there. I mean, Viego just does his thing, so going to be fine. I think Hecarim is going to gank him or not, because, well, because issues. I'm going to get that. Okay, he is one versus two, winning with Galio help. So I'm just farming, I'm going to go for blue, then Drake. And as we can see, I don't really struggle much. I don't really struggle much, I could go for Drake here. Oh, okay, they do struggle now. I mean, they are very deep and they also got parts of that tower, so it's really okay. Okay, so I'm gonna smite it. And then I'm going deeper into Hecarim's jungle with hopes that we find some camps. Okay, I cannot really go more deep than this. Because uh, he will come and he will find me. I'm going for blue, right, golems. Really power farming here. There is the rights, his rights, which is something that I want. There is his red. Just gonna put this. I don't think he has any time to react to this. So I'm gonna put the deeper vision word. Not sure where is he exactly farming. Because he's not here. Okay, so I'm gonna move it away. Get this. Okay, Victor is gonna get my rights. And I do have 10 CS per minute officially. I think he's on the top side. The Karim. Could also alt there. Galio went straight over a word, which we knew that there was a word. Okay, gonna get golems and gonna hit the 10 CS per minute. And I th I think I'm gonna have to go top here. And certainly gonna get the 10 CS per minute now. Okay. okay, gonna push this wave. And as you can see, we're doing comfortably at the 10 CS per minute power farming mart. And we're getting the drakes in, and we're getting everything that we need. We're gonna do a recall now here. There is a baron, and we could go for this baron. This guy should be careful. Well, I am not there. I'm on the other side of the map. Okay, we said we go for cosmic drive, so I'm gonna write here cosmic drive. So 
I'll waste an hour onto this. And the Tensias per minute. They are fighting unnecessarily, really. Uh, in solo queue, when I do the ping, they back off immediately and it works. Here, not so much. Not so much. I could go there to help the guy. Yep. Yep, we actually can. That was bad. Could have not get hit by that Q. Are we catching that? A bit blocked by the guy here. But I think they got him. Yep, they got him. Okay, so we could force a Baron. We could force a Baron. I'm not going to pick play farm anymore. Because I already have a 100 CS advantage. That's good enough to me. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's get this. It's free. We have a Viego and the Victor. The amount of damage they output into this, it's insane. So it's really impossible to steal it. They had no, they had an Xerat ult. I doped. There was a chance that he could have steal it, stolen it. But it's fine. There is this up, should pass it to Jin, but the CS numbers really shine when you don't pass it. <laughs> we want to keep the 10 CS per minute, we do. Okay, and also the Baron increases our, our level by a lot. So this too, 214 CS. This get some more CS. No, we don't get it. Okay, going back, selling this. Still not enough gold for that. Not gonna sell anything else. Seven stacks of Mejai because we didn't really fight. Nine CS per minute because <laughs> we're actually greeting on the ten CS a bit. And we still didn't die, so it's not what you'd expect, right? Oh, well. can do that certainly and we basically end the game here because they cannot really stop us at all even though individually they do plays when you come into this problem you can't really man you're, you're a bit deep This is my CS. No, I missed the cannon. This is my 10 CS per minute. Four level difference. 100 and, C 100 and something CS. Cool. Not gonna die. Not gonna die. guy Victor got the other guy we got this guy as well and I want I want that Serat I'm hungry I'm no longer hungry it just it just passed towards me okay Jin taking this thank you man you did my work here an alt from the Jin Probably helping Victor. I do have ult. I want 10 CS per minute. I don't care. I don't care. And also that level gap. I, th it's funny though. It's something that looks toxic what I'm doing. But keeping the level gap. It's actually making you win much more easier. Especially if you're not hinting like. Uh, the team is randomly going in places and dying. So. Um, keeping the 3-4 level gap over the enemy jungler is a 100% sure way to actually carry it and to actually deal lots of damage into the fights. Because look, I am two-shotting everyone in their team at this point. Legit two-shotting everyone in their team. And then I'm going for this again. I'm just 
rotating, farming, farming, just so that Hecarim has no chance of keeping up with me. Okay, there is nothing. Oh, that's mine. Thank you. And also, we made Victor very fat, so we're not really at a scary point in our lives. I'm gonna cast out like this. I didn't want I didn't want to commit because again the challenge and the fact that we don't need to give a 700 gold lead right we still keep the 10 CS advantage we see Hecarim so we need to be careful into this into this uh, scenario of a fight Oh no! No! Okay, that's fine. Oh, we come here, you're too far. Oh, there is a vein, right? Right. A vein. That's a play. That's also possible. And then that's another play that's also possible. So we wasted a bit of farming time, but still five levels gap between me and the guy. I didn't even hit the guy. Okay, I get. I think I hit him with something, but not sure with what exactly. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. No! You didn't see that. 